all this is Stella and welcome to my YouTube channel today we're going to paint a wooden box that I have had for um, a little bit and I'm using a book that I had in my library by Mary Inglebright the name of the book is crafts to decorate your home I enjoy this book a lot because it has a lot of different colorful pages in it and many ideas on how to design some of the things that you want to do around your home. I needed a craft box for my glue so I decided I'm going to take this and paint it and decorate it so it'll look nice. So I covered some of the box that I don't want to paint a certain color with painters tape as you see and I'm going to begin to paint the box with a heavy gesso that I use to cover it first. It's sort of like a primer and um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not an expert in painting boxes or wooden figures so join me as we try this.
and now you see my box is completed. I added Mod Podge to the box in order to give it a gloss look to it and a fin more finished look. I think it looks pretty cute. Actually, you could use this box as a um, gift box for a baby's room. And you could embellish it and put little ribbons in it and uh, washcloths and powder and lotion and those kind of things that you need for the baby. And then you can just kind of take it with you to the changing table. So I think it could be used for many different purposes and it would be a nice gift box for a uh, mother-to-be. And now I'm going to begin to fill my box with all the things that I said I needed to put in it. Just so that when I go to my craft table, I can just pick up my box and I think I'm going to put all my glues in it. So I've got, as you see, the liquid glue on one side. Uh, I even put some um, alcohol cleaner in there for my um, Tim Holtz inks. I also put uh, Martha Stewart glue. I have all kind of glues and I use them for certain things on my armor etch. I could put that in there. So it's like a box to use the for my um, items that I craft with and mainly it will be glues. I'm liking the way that it's filling up right now and I've got a lot more to put in it. I wish it was a little bit bigger because I actually would like to get some other things out of my drawer and onto the top of my table so that I can just grab them. So I'm going to continue to fill it up with my, what is that? That is my um, rubber stamp cleaner, my Elmer's liquid glue. I'm just pulling this stuff out of my drawer and filling it as I go. My glue sticks, my glue pen will fit in there. I wish that I could get my glue runners in there, but I don't think they're going to fit. So I'm going to have to leave those in the drawer, which is fine. So this is a pretty nifty place to put quite a few of the little bottles and they fit kind of nice. If you look at it, I got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 10 things in this box. So that, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good, hopefully it'll be a good space saver and a decorative touch to my craft room. Can't put any big items in there like that, so that has to go back. So, there you have it my craft glue box that I decorated and I think it looks pretty nifty I even was able to get the E6000 in there so that's just wonderful so thanks for joining me this time I had fun with this and I think I'm gonna do more things like this you could even do picture frames wooden picture frames for, and the kids could join in and painting with you I like it. So join me next time as we go on this journey of crafts, painting, greeting cards, sewing, all kinds of things. Thanks. Thanks, and I'll see you next time as we go on this journey together. And have a wonderful week.